A brand new discovery from, from these observations is that we have detected the era where the very first stars in the universe ignited. And this era was, uh, for many, surprisingly early. It's only about 200 million years after the Big Bang from, from the time that you had this intense uh, concentration of, uh, of all kinds of exotic particles, the time when gas clouds could form and condense and form stars. So we, we've, we've detected that era for the first time, and, and it is very early. Well, because it takes the light over 13 billion years to reach us, we are seeing now what the universe looked like then over 13 billion years ago, so it's a, it's a fossil remnant of, of what the early universe was like, and just uh, like fossils are used to study the past, we use this light to study what the universe was like uh, way back near the, near the very beginning. What is, what is the map? Well, that, that picture behind me is really, it's an image of the whole sky, and it's, and it's made to image the whole sky on this oval. And you can see in there uh, blue spots and, and red spots. And what those correspond to are slightly hotter and colder images of the sky. That's, that's a picture there, those hot and cold spots, that pattern, is really the, it's the afterglow of the Big Bang. We determine using this cosmic consistency, the age of the universe is 13.7 billion years old. And we've made that determination to 1% accuracy, which uh, is just amazing. On a sort of deeper, long-term time uh, level, it's this amazing consistency that the picture we can put together of the universe is, is relatively simple, that the pieces fit together. It's, uh, it's a stunning confirmation of, of, this, of the study of cosmology for many years now. That's, it's just built up and, and here it is. In some ways, it, we're getting to know the cosmos like we know our own backyards. It's the universe has all of a sudden gotten smaller and much more familiar.